we said at the top of our show, we wanted to give you a little added value in this retrospective. When Betty White kindly agreed to be Elizabeth for us again, all of us at Channel 13 were thrilled. We think you will be too. And now, Betty White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Peter Michael Getz. I'm Jack Nars. In tonight's incident, Elizabeth tries to bring her husband Alvin into the 21st century with all its fancy gadgets. Some things never change, however. Elizabeth, do you really think Alvin is ready for a change? He seems, well, a little set in his ways. Well, sure he is. But there are so many exciting developments in the world. Well, we should be keeping up. True, but you know Alvin's pet saying. Why teach an old dog new tricks if he can't even do the old tricks? <laughs> pet saying? My conscience is getting funnier in his golden years. You're not up to one of your old stunts, are you, Elizabeth? Me? Now, why would you think that? <laughs> Alvin, would you get that? Yeah, I get it. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you this morning? <laughs> Would you like a nice cappuccino? Elizabeth, you know I prefer my coffee to come from freeze-dried beans, as God intended. Not some fancy contraption. Oh, Alvin, get with it. That's Purple Haze, Primo Blend from Borneo. I got it at the new Big Bucks. And surely you can't object to this free phone. There's no such thing as a free phone, Elizabeth. Please take it back. No, really, the phone is free. And the first hundred minutes are free, too. Hundred minutes, eh? Well, that'll be your first call. <laughs> oh, Alvin, don't be such a fuddy-duddy. I mean, the 21st century is around the corner, and, and we should be surfing the net. Not without a wetsuit. <laughs> well, at least we should be getting some new furniture. I mean, you watched Milton Berle's very first show from that same Barca lounger in there. Yeah, he was a lot funnier in a dress than that RuPaul fella. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious, you old stick in the mud. We gotta shake things up a little. When you get home, we're gonna go furniture shopping. Uh huh. The last time we did that, I got stuck in a beanbag <laughs> chair. No <laughs> dice. No beanbags this time, Alvin. I'm thinking neo modern. Oh, lots of glass and chrome. I shall leave you at this point, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, he didn't say I couldn't bring the furniture to him. I don't know if that's such a great idea, Elizabeth. Alvin would be happy to sit in that Barca lounger until the 22nd century. We'll see. I'm sorry, I, I thought this was 7B. On Earth. <laughs> You've come to the right place, honey. Home. Don't you just love it? There is not a word in the English language to describe how I'm feeling about this. It'll grow on you. So will fungus. <laughs> oh, honey, come on. Just, just give it a chance. Uh, people of our generation don't have to live in the past. Well, your cousin Sam writes computer code in his spare time. Change is good. No, I guess writing code is a step up from writing bad checks. <laughs> but you know, Elizabeth, I like things to be familiar. Okay, old timer, then there's only one thing left for us to do. Let's put on our long johns and light the gas lamps and probably just break out the dominoes. What's wrong with dominoes? Dominoes, I like dominoes. Well, I prefer poodle skirts, but that's beside the point. And what is the point, Elizabeth? The point is we're never too old to change. No, oh, no, you, you, you can't teach an old dog new oh, tricks. Oh, please, don't give me that old refrain. That's older than you are, Alvin. And I don't buy it. Speaking of buying, Elizabeth. Oh, that's another beauty of this beautiful room. I, if we, for some silly reason, don't like it, we can return it within 30 days. We can return it? How? With your muscle and my brain? <laughs> I have retired from heavy lifting, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, Alvin, you're so funny sometimes. You crack me up. Oh, my gosh. Where is my chair? 
Well, you remember that nice homeless man that always sat and sits on the ground in front of canters? Oh, no. Well, Don't tell me. He doesn't have to sit on the ground anymore. Well, I hope you collected all the change that fell into that chair. Well, how do you think we could afford all this? What am I gonna do with you, Elizabeth? And where am I gonna sit while I figure that out? Alvin, this is your new throne. Oh, you'll forget about that old Barker lounger in no time once you spend five minutes in the relaxomatic. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, don't let me near that monstrosity. <laughs> Who posed for that, your mother? <laughs> I'm cutting off your Metamucil. Wise guy, now come on, just sit down. Sit down. Mr. Spock, join me on the bridge. There are alien life forms on this planet. <laughs> sit down, Captain, before I beam you up. Oh, gee. Now, just sit back and relax. Not another word. Here you are. See, you're starting to unwind. Your shoulders are loosening. Your back is warming. My head is spinning. <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> Not, a, not a word. <laughs> Okay, I guess you've had your test drive, Alvin. What do you think? <laughs> I think I'd like to try that cappuccino now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that, Elizabeth. I had five to one odds that he'd never sit in that thing. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Wait till he sees the mirror in the bedroom. <laughs> Elizabeth. Aren't you ashamed? <laughs>